How do, how, does all the, how do those needs get managed with a modular approach? And I want to start my mantra on modular is, it's not about a product, it's a thought process, it's an architecture, it's a philosophy, it's a way of doing things. It's not a particular unit, increment, or item. It's a way that we think about this business. And this is important. We, we started this thinking because we have pressure. Right? We have pressure just like an, an enterprise does because we're pushing a product out there. So we, we don't want to build too much. We want to build the right amount. We want to build it fast, but not too fast, but not too slow. We want to be responsive to customer needs. So these concepts that we're thinking about are philosophies that we've developed over about four billion of development in the last eight or nine years. It's not about a thing or a unit. It's a way that we do business and a way that we construct and craft what we do. But the really, I, mean, I think the, the main output is we have a flexible thing, a flexible story, a flexible solution, right? That's really what everybody's after. That goes back to that kind of hackneyed IT agility story. So now I'm starting to lead you down some place you might not want to go, which is modular thinking provides options, right? Flexibility is the ability to do something or something else, the optionality. Options have value. Now if you'll bear with me for one moment, we'll talk a little bit about options. Um, the concept of an option and how I, I've been thinking about it for a number of years is a financial option, like you could buy an option on our stock, on GE or whatever, an option is the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a security at a certain price in the future. You can bid on the price of something now and pay a fee to do that transaction later. And there's value associated with that. If a stock is 100 bucks and you value something that's six months out, there's a way to value that. You don't need to know how that works. The main takeaway is that options that have value are more valuable in situations where you have high volatility, right, the stock price moving around a lot, and long duration. It makes sense. The longer you have to choose, the more valuable the choice is. And I think those are the two takeaways I want you to think about, and probably all you really need to know about option theory if you're not in the finance business, is highly volatile situations with long outcomes or long payouts or long ramps are really, really valuable. Now, real options, is a branch of business school type thinking that says we can take those financial concepts and apply them to managerial decisions. And this is incredibly common in drug development, oil and gas exploration, and infrastructure development like dams and toll roads and airports because these people are making very large investments with very risky outcomes, right? Think about a toll road. If the cars don't materialize, your economic model dies. If you're Novartis and you have a billion dollar R&D pipeline, some of those drugs are gonna take six, seven, eight, ten 10 years to go to market. They're only gonna have 10 years of payoff. They may not work, right? So in these high risk, long cycle systems are where you see this real option theory pop into, it, pop into uh, thinking. And an interesting thing about, especially in the drug companies, the option itself has value, right? The ability to say, look, we're gonna start drug discovery at you know, starting point one and go through 100 different steps. Each step, when they can kill a, a drug discovery process, the opportunity to kill it has value. If you started at step one and had to go straight to 100 with no decisions, the thing would be less valuable. So the, the decision itself has value, and that's a, a nuance that I think is important. Okay, does any of that sound familiar to the lifestyles that we lead here? Right, we've got risk of technology change on the IT side, the hardware chassis, um, we've got risk of business change. Our business can grow faster. It can grow slower. Um, we can have competitive threats. We can be acquired. We can, be, we can acquire. And the whole economy can go in the toilet, as we've seen a couple times in the last decade or two. So that level of uncertainty really, really underlies what we're doing in the data center business. 